Well, it's been three weeks now since the early access release of WolfQuest Anniversary Edition, and the three weeks have been just as crazy as the three weeks leading up to the release. Uh, we've been uh, busy cranking out bug fixes and tweaks, and that in-game bug reporter has been extremely helpful, so thanks very much to everybody who's submitted a report. We really do rely on those, and uh, you might have seen a bug that you reported show up in the next patch notes, so you can see that we are looking at them as they come in and uh, sorting them and figuring out what to do about each one. And it's fun to see the screenshots that come in with some of these bugs as well. We are going to uh, soon settle down to a slower pace of patches and also implement a more uh, some beta testing of each patch so we don't create new bugs when we're trying to fix old bugs because that's happened a few times um, in the crazy pace that we've been trying to maintain just to get through all the really top priority things uh, since release. But in between all that, we've really enjoyed watching many of the YouTube videos that uh, you all have made out there. There's uh, lots started showing up right away and they just keep coming. There's many more, too many to mention here, but we love Siri the Pixel Biologist and uh, Siri, we fixed that twitching snowshoe hair carcass just for you. Jay plays one of our essential beta testers, has, has done a bunch of videos and there's just so many more and it's really just totally fun for us to watch people play and react to the game and really get into it. Even the ones that are not in languages that we know, we don't know what people are saying. We hope it's nice things, um, but we're glad you're playing it and, and uh, responding honestly to whatever your experience is. So we've had a pretty um, frequent pace of patches in the past three weeks. Um, that is gonna slow down, as I said. In fact, it's gonna stop for a little while. Susan and I are going back to Yellowstone for more on the ground research for the Slough Creek and Tower Fall episodes. So hopefully we'll have nothing critical that we have to deal with while we're gone. But not to worry, our team is uh, still working away, fixing stuff. And um, while there's still plenty of bugs to fix and things to tweak, we're also digging back into the game development and working on new features. So in September, we're gonna have some new animal, animal behaviors, finally get those uh, bull elk running and fighting each other and some other stuff coming with that, that'll be cool. But we're really hoping to dive in very soon on Slough Creek because we know that is the big thing that everybody is really excited for. I did a little work on the Slough Creek map this week just to, just to start prepping it and oh, it's so nice to switch. I love Amethyst, but boy, it's so nice to switch to something different and it's just so green. So it'll be months before Slough Creek is ready, but we want to get started on it soon so we have lots of time to iterate on the gameplay and work on all the animal AI um, and make it really good because, of course, pups are the big part of a wolf's life, raising those pups. And then, of course, once we get Slough Creek done and the game's out of early access and just in general release for PC and Mac, we will turn our attention to the mobile versions because we know there's lots of people eagerly awaiting that, but I'm sorry that won't be for a while because we really have to get the main game um, completed before we can tackle that. So anyways, that's just a quick update. Nothing too exciting to show, I'm afraid. And just remember, there probably won't be any patches for a few weeks following this weekend, but that doesn't mean we're not working on the game. We've got uh, lots of things underway. There is much, much, much more in the works and coming in the coming months.